Hi guys, welcome to part 2 of my Pro Market Drawing tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to finish the Hoggle picture from Labyrinth. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do the eyebrows, the eyes, the lips, the hair and the clothes. To start with I'm going to start with the eyebrows. I'm going to use a cool grey 5 to go over the under section of the eyebrow to create a bit of shadow. Once this has been done I'll then go over the eyebrow with a base colour of caramel which is a, a nice brown colour. After that I'll be going over the top with some dark grey and some more caramel once it's dried just to add a bit of depth to it. Now the eyebrows are done, I'm going to be focusing on the eyeballs. I'm using two blues for this one, um, a light blue, duck egg, and a darker blue, true blue. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start rubbing out the pencil lines that are on the eye at the moment. Uh, once it's been done, I'm going to use the duck egg blue just to go over the whole colour of the eyeball where the blue needs to be. Now I'm going to take the true blue, uh, go over the edges of the eyeball and also the centre of the eyeball as well. I'm going to use a blender as well to go over these so the colours merge together nicely. Now I'm going to use a cool grey one just to go over the whites of the eyes as these obviously aren't pure white, there are some shadows in there. Um, I'll be adding some cool grey 2 and a little bit of cool grey 3 as well just to add some deeper shadows in there and I'll be doing this for both eyes. Alright guys, now I'm going to start doing the lips. Um, I'm going to start by using different colours to what I did for the skin. So I've got a soft peach and a coral, uh, which I'm going to use. So I'm going to start off by doing, actually I'm going to start off by doing the opening to the mouth, because it's slightly darker. Uh, so I'm going to use a warm grey 5 just to do this. Now I'm going to add some of the soft peach on there. I'm going to stop the colour about here as you've got quite a bit of the light coming in from this section so I'm going to leave that white for now. With the lips what I'm going to do, I've done a thin layer of the soft peach on the bottom lip, now just 
about halfway up from that I'm just going to do another layer of soft peach just to make it slightly darker as this will have a slightly a slight bit of shadow on it so we'll be coming back to this later when it has dried so I can add some more detail to it but for now it's going to do that just so it looks a bit darker I'm just going to go over a few of the detailed parts with some coral just so it looks a lot darker and it looks like you've got the crinkles in the lip as well I'm just going to go over some of the areas again with a soft peach just to blend in the soft peach and the coral and to also just make it a little bit darker Now that I've got the main colours down, I'm going to go over some of this with a grey colour just to make sure that it doesn't look too bright and that he's wearing lipstick. So I've got a, uh, a warm grey free which I'm just going to use to go over some of the uh, area at the bottom section here just so it looks darker and as if this bit's sticking out more, creating a shadow underneath here. Now what I'm doing is I'm going from the line where the mouth opens and I'm just going in a circ well a kind of a, a curve away from the lips. So this is basically the way that the lips are shaped. So I'm just going to do this over the top of it in different styles of grey just to give it that bit of realism. So what you want to do is just keep going over this. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to do Hoggle's hat, which is a kind of a dark red burgundy colour. Um, I'm going to start off just by using a very, very light pink. This one I've got here is a sunkist pink. Uh, this is just basically going to go over and work as a base layer. Um, I'm not going to bother rubbing out many of the pencil lines as it's going to be a very dark colour to end with. Uh, this is just to kind of go in the parts where the light's going to be hitting it. I will be getting rid of some of the pencil lines. Uh, these ones are going to be the pencil lines that um, are there to show where the white is. Um, the white parts on this are predominantly the hair. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of some of these lines because obviously that's going to stay quite light. Okay, now I've gone over the base layer with the pink. I'm just going to go over the top of this, some of the dark parts, in a burgundy. Blurred the edges with the blender. I'm just going to go over it again with the light pink. You 
going to use a walnut colour now, which is um, very dark, kind of browny, reddy colour. And I'm just going to go over some of the darker parts with this. For all the darkest parts, instead of using the black, I'm going to be using uh, umber, which is a very, very dark brown. Uh, this is just because sometimes when you use black, it kind of makes it look flat. Um, so I'm going to use brown instead to try and give it a bit more depth to it. I'm going to add a bit more shadow to the hat now, but instead of using the cool grey colours that I've used before, I'm going to use uh, warm greys, just as these are obviously I'm going to add some more shadows on the hat now, but instead of using cool greys like I've done in the past, I'm going to start using warm greys I'm going to do the shirt and the sleeve. Uh, I've gone back to using the cool greys for this one as opposed to the warm greys. Uh, what I'm going to do first, um, again with this one I'm not going to rub off the pencil lines because the pencil lines are where the dark areas are going to be. And I'm going to be going over them to have a very dark grey so you're not going to be able to see those anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to firstly go over pretty much this whole area with a cool grey one which is the lightest grey you can get uh, with the exception of this very small section of the sleeve here. Uh, reason being is because the light is on that so that is pure white. Uh, but up until this area it's all going to be cool grey one. So I've gone over the main part of it with a cool grey one. Uh, I'm now going to grab a cool grey two and just start filling in some of the darker areas. Uh, from there, I'll just basically build it up. Uh, I'll use a cool grey three after that to go over, make it even darker, and then a four, and then a, eventually a five, just to fit out the darkest of parts.
Now that the shirt's done, I'm going to do the waistcoat. Um, I'm going to start off by doing pretty much all of the waistcoat in a uh, honeycomb colour, which is a really light kind of orange colour. Uh, once I've done that, I'm going to add more details using greys and also uh, some other oranges. Now I'm going to go over some of this with a bright orange just to bring out some of the colours on there, make it look like there's dark shades of orange in there. Now I'm going to go over some of the darker shadow areas with some warm greys, starting with a warm grey one. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the background now. I'm going to start off doing that before I do the hair, mainly because the hair is white, so afterwards I'm going to go over it with a white gouache just to bring it out a bit. Obviously it's a lot easier to do the background before the hair. Um, I'm going to start off doing uh, a cool grey 5. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make this look rather blurry as if it's um, the camera's focused on the main subject and the background is a blur. So I'm going to start off with a cool grey 5 and just do down the side here where the hair meets the background.
now that the background's been done I'm going to finish off by doing the hair um, it's very simple, not going to take long doing this at all uh, all you need to do is get some white gouache and first of all a soft brush uh, this soft brush is going to be used just to do the main parts uh, such as the bits down here um, because there's so much of it, it kind of looks like one big single colour uh, which is what I'm using the soft brush for um, after that I'm going to go over the edges with a nice a stiff dry brush just so it gets um, individual strands of hair in there uh, but first of all I'm just going to fill out these white bits and then I'll move on to the next section For your chance to win free free prints, just subscribe and comment on the video below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to head over to patreon.com forward slash I'm Red Ted for exclusive content and rewards.